Hello and welcome to another episode of Crypto Disruption. My name is Tommy. And I'm Tracy. We have a wonderful project to go over with you guys today, but first. Don't forget, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe. Do you still see a red box over there on your screen? Then you better click it or else you can't keep getting great content. Awesome, yeah. And follow us on social as well. We're, we're all over social, Facebook, Twitter, Telegram, and LinkedIn. So, you know, make sure you do that as well. Follow along. All right. So today we have a great interview um, and we have a giveaway as well. I'll let you pitch the interview. So we have this great interview with Dmitry Nazarov, the CEO and co-founder of Genesis Vision. And as a gift to you, our viewers, Genesis Vision has allowed for us to go ahead and do a 10 GBT token contest. And all you have to do to enter that contest is to put your wallet address below in the comments. Feel free to add some feedback or whatever else floats your boat. But um, in order to be entered into that contest, make sure that you put that wallet down there. Yep, subscribe and like the video, put the wallet address in the comments and you're entered. What we'll do is we'll run a randomizer on this and we're gonna give it about a week or so mm -hmm. um, and then we'll run the randomizer. That information is gonna go back to Genesis Vision and then they'll go ahead and provide the 10 tokens for our winner. That's right. All right, so we have an interview. Um, Part of the interview is, you know, we're asking some of our questions, but we also went out and we sourced questions from the community. So Dimitri is answering your questions. We pulled out a, a pretty lengthy list. I mean, we couldn't get every single question into the time frame. So if we didn't get yours, I do apologize. We tried to get as many of the questions in here. And Dimitri himself did go in and look at all of your questions and he really tried to grab as many along with us as we could within the time we had. Yeah, so we, we tried to grab the ones that were the most relevant and and that we had time to answer. And, and so we've got those. So without any further delay, we're gonna jump into the video and we'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, we are super excited today to have Dimitri Nazarov of Genesis Vision with us today. He is the CEO and co-founder. Welcome, Dimitri. Welcome. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Tracy. Hi, the cryptocurrency community. Thanks for having, having me today. Gladly. I, I've actually <laughs> followed the, this project for a while and, and I, I've done a video on it on my channel in the past. So um, Yeah, I, I saw that. I'm really excited to have you, uh, you know, to, to do this interview and to, you know, get more information about Genesis Vision out there to the community. Yeah, I really love you guys' transparency and your interaction. So I really appreciate you taking the time today. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's jump into this. Um, first, we, we went out and we, we pulled the community for some questions. We had some questions of our own and we pulled in community questions as well. Um, so we're just gonna jump into these. So current results and overall progress of the Alpha version. Um, why don't you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, sure, that, that's a good question because we are actually two months into this uh, demo mode uh, trading with the platform. And uh, what we can say for sure that this was the right decision because uh, not to launch as a real trading uh, from the very beginning, because uh, all our testers, all our people from the community who tried this, uh, they already saw these uh, issues that happen with the uh, integrations with the uh, UI improvements and all the stuff. So we have a lot of things uh, to do and we already have done a lot uh, thanks to our community because we got a lot of feedbacks. It was very, very hard work uh, with the feedbacks. With the, we got a lot of active people. Uh, they're still in our community, that's great. We got things like design uh, sketches, uh, ideas uh, about the functionality, about the UI and, and all this stuff. And it's great because we utilize this and we still keep uh, working on that. Uh, I think we, we, we made a great job here. So we um, fixed a lot of things. Uh, the platform now is much more stable. Uh, this, uh, what we've done is that at the same time, testing the platform, we have our tournaments and all the stuff uh, happening with the trading. And I think this, uh, this period was necessary to, to pass. And 
we are uh, we feel much more comfortable to to switch to real trading now thanks to, to our community so maybe we can just back up a bit and um you know for people that aren't really familiar with genesis vision um why don't you give a, a quick kind of intro to who you are and and a little bit about the project you know just um i know the community kind of knows about it but you know somebody's out there searching or they just come across this video maybe a, a quick intro into the project and you know just high level description sure uh, so Genesis Vision is a decentralized asset management platform. Uh, what uh, we plan, the, the asset management itself is not a new thing. We don't invent anything here. But what we do is we make it much more transparent and much more open. We develop the core on, uh, on the blockchain and smart contracts uh, with all the transparent operations of this trust management functionality, with all transparent uh, information about the trades and then to this transparent core we connect uh, existing and operating companies like brokerages exchanges where people directly trade and these traders from all these um, exchanges and brokerages they get an ability to attract uh, funds through the genesis vision network so we build then the big network and utilize the, the blockchain transparency in, in this sphere Perfect. All right. In your earlier quest, or question answer, you um, talked about the trader challenge and the tournaments. So um, what are you currently running? And I uh, have one going on until uh, the 10th of June. And uh, yes. could you talk more about that? Yeah, sure. So from, from the very beginning of our project, when we were on the pre-ACO stage, uh, we started to, to launch these traders um, challenges some small tournaments for uh, Forex trading, for traditional trading, and for crypto trading as well. Because uh, anyways, uh, our, the main part of our community is traders, managers, investors, people who are interested in that. And we want to build a, a solid community of, of traders uh, around the project. Uh, and that's why we, we, have, we had a number of these uh, tournaments. Right now we have a really big uh, challenge, GV Traders Challenge, which is running for one month. So we have four separate rounds. Two of them are uh, Forex-oriented uh, rounds, and then we have two crypto rounds, which are uh, being tested on the Genesis Markets uh, platform. Uh, so this is the, the third week of, of the tournament. So we have another round, which will be incoming so the registration is is available so you, you can you can take part if you missed for some reason the first three rounds so the prizes they they are uh, separate and they form the full uh, 12 uh, winners in this okay. in this round so it, it, it's a good thing to for a community to to trade this is a, an activity for them and for us it's a proper testing because uh, we got a lot of uh, people joining these tournaments. More and more of them, they they trade. They, we have we don't put any limitations on the automated trading uh, and all this stuff. So we just want to to test the load, to test the information flow. That's that's a good way of testing, and it keeps community active. Uh, that that's a perfect solution for us. I think that that's why we are still having these tournaments. So it, it's almost like, uh, well, essentially it's, it's like user acceptance testing, but just, you know, kind of using the entire community to do it. Yes. Yes. So, we consider this like, like that for our, for us, it's a, it's a testing. And Perfect. I, I, so that's an awesome way to, to get UAT testing out there and, you know, to really test the load on your system and make sure everything's working um, and gather, you know, feedback along the way too and i think sure. as you see they've developed a very loyal um base so i think this is obviously working well for you yeah all right um you mentioned genesis markets um i believe it's scheduled to launch next week yes correct we, we just announced the the proper date because it was a bit uh, rescheduled because we also wanted to to test everything properly yes this is this is a separate project that we 
uh, that came to our minds just uh, out of nowhere. <laughs> and we, we decided that, well, that's a great feature. We want to implement this. We don't have uh, something like that in the market right now, and we have a demand for that. And we have um, a great um, potential for integration between these two projects, the Genesis Vision Asset Management Platform and the Genesis Market, which is basically the crypt uh, brokerage. Um, so what we do here, uh, again, I can tell in a nutshell that, so that everybody can, can understand what, what's going on, what is the Genesis Market is not a project which, which we were announcing on the, on the ICO stage. So we just um, developed the bridges to the, to the cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, currently we have Binance and the number of them they are in, in the development stage right now. And then this liquidity we put into the MT5 trading platform, which is much more uh, functional and uh, convenient for most of traders, especially for traders who came from traditional markets like Forex to crypto. When they see the interfaces of the exchanges, I don't want to say something bad, but well, they are not so, so useful as the, you know, uh, 10 years of development of the platform, uh, robots that are here, a lot of indicators, uh, built-in signals and all this stuff. This is available out of the box in MT5. And that's what people want to utilize when they trade crypto. And, mm -hmm. that's, uh, and that's what we actually want to, to provide. And uh, apart from being a separate like project uh, for trading, uh, this will be an a part of Genesis Vision uh, infrastructure. So this, this can become a, one of the brokerages here. So you can become a manager on the Genesis Vision platform through the Genesis Market brokerage. The, the idea is like that. So I understand you were just at a rather huge event last week, um, the IFX Expo. Uh, how are the results from that? Yes, uh, that was a very important event for us um, because this is the a great hub uh, which was initially more oriented to the traditional markets like Forex, uh, a lot of uh, banks, payment processing systems, uh, some technology providers, all the infrastructure that, uh, that make it work. But uh, uh, last years, a lot of crypto, uh, crypto projects also joined, uh, cryptocurrency exchanges there, uh, marketing companies, a lot of stuff. So they are all together and the, the percentage of the cryptocurrency projects is growing there. But for us, it's a perfect opportunity to build the B2B partnerships like with uh, Forex brokerages, which we need to, to integrate with, uh, with cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, so it, it's a second IFX Expo that we already uh, took part in. The first one was uh, just me uh, coming as a speaker in uh, Hong Kong. And this time we came with a booth, so we had a proper setup. We had uh, a, lot of, a lot of meetings, so this was very, very productive. We, we, we still are in the, in the process of uh, going through all these contacts that we gathered, uh, but th that's a perfect op opportunity for us to build the, the partnerships on a business level. Awesome. Congratulations on a good expo. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so um, I, I, I see we've got some, you know, future plans. Um, you know, what, you got anything to maybe disclose or, or, you know, talk about what's, what's coming up in the future? Sure. We have a lot of plans and more we do. Uh, they are not becoming less plans. So we, we don't put, work aside when we finish we have a lot of new ideas coming like it was with genesis markets so the two main priorities at the moment of course uh, this is the genesis vision platform development and going uh, switching to the real trading mode that's what all our community is waiting for mm -hmm. so this uh, that's the one one big part that we are working on and another one is this Genesis Markets uh, because it's it's about to be launched. The next week is the, is the day is the date of launch, and we have a lot of things to finalize to to check everything. Uh, so this is a quite busy busy time at the moment. Uh, 
And apart from that, we had our uh, roadmap. So the, all the changes that we in introduced to this roadmap, we announce uh, usually to, to our community so that everybody can, can see what happens. So we are stick to that. Um, one thing that I probably can, can mention, and we get a lot of questions about this secret feature that I already mentioned. I think that I can put a bit more light on this, on this question. Uh, so it's uh, regarding the Genesis Vision platform. So everybody knows that we currently have traders, these managers. Uh, so everybody can, can have a look on how it works at the moment. So the, the platform is publicly available. So a lot of people already tested this. It works pretty simple. So there are traders, they trade whatever they, they want to trade, whatever strategies they have. And then they have investors who invest uh, money and then this uh, profits they're, they're spread. So pretty much simple uh, thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what concerns us is that the investment in traders they're very uh, potentially high reward because, well, we have crypto traders, for example, but at the same time, they're very high risk investments because uh, we cannot control the way um, managers trade because this is up to their strategies or we want to uh, put some limits on their strategies and their drawdowns and all this stuff. We, we don't want to do this. We want to our, for our managers to have a freedom in trading uh, that's why uh, we decided to have an additional additional functionality. Uh, in, apart from uh, these individual uh, traders and managers, we'll have some kind of fund managers, meaning that the particular manager can create a fund of different assets. They can be very different. Uh, it's like traditional uh, instruments. It can be... Uh, stocks uh, together with uh, cryptocurrency. It's like a, a completely free instrument that can be built uh, by, by a manager. And then investor in, uh, invests into this instrument, which contains uh, a lot of different uh, in, uh, assets that are different uh, by the level of the risk. And um, yes, it, it's, uh, it's the feature that uh, is, uh, will become available for managers and they can, uh, for, in, for investors, it's an ability to invest into something more diversified out of the box, not uh, building the portfolio with the different managers one by one, but build a portfolio of the different assets. So all the details about how it will work exactly, what will be the requirements from managers, from investors, will be announced uh, as soon as we formalize them. But that, that's an idea, like an additional uh, part of, of Genesis Vision, is this fund, fund managers. So that diversification aspect really opens a lot up. Yes, yes, that's uh, our plan. Awesome. All right, um, let's jump into some of the community questions. Uh, sure. we, we opened this up and, and we had a really good response from the community. There were a lot of questions in there. So um, if we don't ask your question, it's not that it wasn't relevant. We just have to, you know, condense it into, um, you know, the timeline that we have. So I do want to thank everybody for asking all their questions. It was great to see that much involvement on the projects. Um, I, I would honestly say that this is one of the most involved communities that I've worked with when, when we put this out there, you know, kind of a call for questions. They, uh, they just came running and that was awesome to see because sometimes you put that out there and you're kind of like waiting and you're like, okay, is anybody going to ask a question? But it shows the level of interest that the community has in this and just how bought in they, they are in this project. I followed the project for a while, so I'm excited about it. It's good to see, you know, kind of everybody's excited about this. Um, all right, so let's jump into these. Uh, the first one we have is it says, uh, given the entire cryptocurrency market at this time is, highly speculative. Uh, why would new investors utilize Genesis Vision as opposed to turning to more established companies, uh, Schwab, Lynch, for portfolio management with traditional asset classes? Can you elaborate on what benefits Genesis Vision brings to the table? Um, yes, 
th that's the good question because uh, usually we are compared to some cryptocurrency asset management projects or to some traditional uh, companies like Toro, Zulu Trade, stuff like that. But uh, it's not very frequently we got this question about the funds and fund management companies. Uh, yes, uh, so I totally agree that this is the high risk, high reward uh, thing, cryptocurrency. That's why a lot of people invest into that. We want to keep this opportunity for, for people. We want to put any limitations, as already mentioned. Uh, but the main difference here is that when you come to a company, uh, to a third party, even a company that uh, brings together some different funds, uh, the all information comes through the through this company, and you you need to trust uh, all your funds, all your uh, as an investor to this company. In Genesis Vision. Uh, we don't have this thing because we don't, no information comes through the Genesis vision. It is decentralized. And that's what uh, investors and managers, they want to utilize. This is the full control over the information, over their, uh, their due diligence. So if you come to a company, you can see whatever they show you, the profits that they show you. Here you can get the full information. You can have a full due diligence. You can check the trades. You can check everything. It's stored in blockchain, and you cannot uh, amend this anyhow. So you can trust this information, not Genesis Vision, but the information in the blockchain. So this is the main the main difference here. So this is the the full control over your investments, which I think a lot of people react well to. Obviously, um, next question from the community: Will managers be rated according to how risky their strategy is? If so. How will this be implemented and graded? Uh, so at the moment, this information is, uh, is available. You can see this on the charts. But uh, anyways, we have a, a big room uh, for improvement in terms of having additional stuff in the platform, like a filter probably. Uh, for example, in this trading championship, you have the, the drawdown uh, parameter. And the same thing can be implemented in the platform if you have a lot of requests for that, for that. If it's interesting for people to have it as one button, we can do this because anyways, we gather all this information and we can just show if, if our users need this. Uh, the risk level is a good thing uh, to consider. That's why we implemented this in, on the championship. Uh, so it's possible in the future. I think we will add more and more uh, parameters to filter, to sort, and to build the ratings for for managers. It's awesome, and, and you know that's all part of as people use the system, they're going to give feedback, and you know you guys can take those and then see what is viable to expand on. Um, all righty. Uh, next one. Will managers have the ability slash option to use uh, leverage when trading? Uh, well, I, I think this question is more about the Genesis markets trading because this is the thing where we provide the trading conditions, uh, not the brokerages. Uh, at the initial stage, we don't plan to have this, so there will be no leverage. But uh, in future, I think it's possible. So like uh, one to two, one to three leverage is uh, pretty much uh, standard thing. And I think we can provide this for, for crypto trading, but it won't be from the very beginning. Uh, the beginning we work more on the liquidity, more uh, implementing the integrations with the exchanges. So this is much more important than the leverage, but it's possible. All right. Excellent. All right, um, next question. I understand that Genesis Vision team will implement an option to download an individual's history of transactions that involve profit for tax purpose. But I was wondering what that option would be available live, would it be available when live trading starts? Uh, yes, so this is the thing that uh, not Genesis Vision provides, but more of a, a trading platform functionality. For example, you can get this information from MT4, MT5 trading platforms, because it's exactly how people use this uh, for taxation, for all these features. And of course, this is important in, in some jurisdictions uh, for some uh, people who trade, they, they don't have any other ability to provide this information to, to 
to government uh, apart from this uh, lists and of course it will be kept as it is but it's not uh genesis vision working on that uh thanks to metatrader currently it's uh built in this functionality perfect all right uh, next one um i know the full uh ui probably won't be addressed when live trading starts but I believe the greatest concern is with the dashboard. Do you think it's possible to fix the dashboard before live trading starts according to feedback? Yes, of course. This is the, I think it's a pretty much standard question already answered this couple times, but the dashboard is the, uh, it's the most difficult part of the, of the platform in terms of showing the information because we have a lot of stuff to show to people and uh, for some people, it's more interesting, as we already mentioned in this question, the risk level, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody wants to see only, only a chart and he doesn't want to see all these numbers. Somebody wants to see the investment opportunities. Uh, and well, a lot of things we need to show and the place on the dashboard when we want to uh, show as much traders as can fit into the screen, it's a very, very tricky um, uh, task from the UI UX perspective. Uh, we keep working on that. We already made a lot of amendments uh, according to our community feedback, and we keep working on this. Uh, from the UI perspective, this is a number one priority, the, the dashboard. Uh, in the nearest future, you'll get some, some updates. So just stay tuned, use the platform, and see some difference. All right. Um, you obviously have a great community activity and following. Uh, one of the people asking questions wanted to thank you for your um, visibility and for working with the community. Um, they, they say you have their greatest gratitude. Their question was, do you plan on participating in the next consensus? Uh, yes, this is a, uh, also a good question. It's very difficult right now to, to find time for all these events which are happening. And at the moment, we are pri prioritizing more this B2B partnership events, including the traditional markets as IFX Expo, for example, and the event in November in London. Uh, we unfortunately don't have much, uh, much room for, for joining this uh, blockchain, completely blockchain oriented events, but we want to try, but we want to find the, the ways to do this. Consensus, of course, it's, it's a great event. We are, we are really sad that we missed the, the, the last one. So we'll try our best to, to find ways to do this. Perfect. All right, uh, next one. Are, are you going to have a standalone trading platform or will you still use third party like MT4? Uh, so the thing here is that uh, it's not, at the moment, it's not we who provide the, the trading platform. It comes from the brokerages so that if they use MT4, for example, only, then we can integrate with their MT4 servers only. Uh, MT5, the same story, they have both. We can have both as we currently have with just to trade, for example, in the demo trading. That's why the initiative here comes from the, from the brokerages. And uh, MT4, MT5, they are mostly, it's the most popular platform. The integration is quite easy for us because we have done this m multiple times in in past. Uh, speaking about the trading facilities for Genesis markets, for example, here we have a room for, for work, of course. Uh, we choose MT5 because, again, this is a good starting point. We can use anything else here, but this is a not um, this is not the number one priority because, well, again, the liquidity issue is the first one, and then we move to other instruments uh, of trading. But this is possible if if a brokerage has a different uh, trading platform. Of course, it takes some time to develop the integration, but it's possible. We we don't want to put any limits here. That okay, this is not MT uh, MT4 MT5. We don't want to work with this brokerage. No, we, we want to, to build as much connections as possible. That's why the, we don't have a limited list of trading platforms. Okay, awesome. that explains it. Um, the next one's kind of feedback and a question. Uh, they say they tried the crypto round 
there were times where the spread of BTC USD was too big. So how are you going to address liquidity issues in terms of trading crypto? Good question. So that's already mentioned these liquidity issues and that's exactly what's, what's the question about because at the moment we have uh, only one exchange with, which we work with this um, Binance and in this case uh, it doesn't uh, like a brokerage company it provides the trading instrument you can trade here uh, on MT5 but it doesn't provide any benefits on the liquidity thing. Uh, the thing that it's very important for brokerage to, to be able to uh, create orders uh, at the same time on multiple exchanges, getting the best quotes uh, at the moment. And that's, that's what we have, where we have a room for improvement as well, because in each additional bridge that we develop, it brings value to the liquidity issue. It solves it because we have more options, more quotes, more uh, possible volumes on the trading um, on the exchanges. Uh, the current current stage is is not the ideal, but we work uh, work on that. That's the most important thing. Develop multiple multiple bridges, and eventually uh, things become much better when we get more exchanges. Awesome. All righty. Um, next question. Is it part of your vision to be a big fund managing trading platform like eToro? Uh, well, of course, we want to be a big <laughs> company. Uh, we won't have uh, the copy trading functionality that is mentioned because for cryptocurrency world, uh, it, it's, uh, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Because, because of the volumes, because of the nature of the cryptocurrency market, when you, have, when you don't make the trading uh, at the same time, uh, the market starts moving and it, it, it doesn't make any sense, uh, the copy trading. In case of cryptocurrency trading, asset management makes much more sense. But uh, anyways, we want to grow big. And uh, the thing here is that, of course, we want to become even bigger because eToro, it's like one company, uh, one brokerage. Uh, what we do is we unite many of them. And it's uh, unlimited, uh, unlimited growth here. Everything depends on the integrations and the partnerships. And we are working on this actively, uh, on these events. We, we are growing already and we want to keep this. Wonderful. Um, next question. <clears throat> You're a bit ahead of your uh, roadmap, but there is still a lot of work to do. In your opinion, what will be the most difficult point on your roadmap to do, and how do you plan to accomplish this goal? All right, yeah, the roadmap is, a, is our very important thing. It's public, we, we share all the changes here. Mm, the difficult part of it is that, uh, as I said, we are not limiting ourselves with the roadmap only. So the Genesis Markets project, a complete project with its own development, with its own marketing, uh, doesn't suit the roadmap at all because it just doesn't, it's not here. We just uh, invented it and we start working on this separately. And all these new ideas that uh, add a lot of work, it's the main, uh, I think, it's the main issue that can cause some delays on the roadmap in future. Right now, uh, we are stick to that. Uh, apart from that, uh, I don't see any critical issues uh, at the moment. So we're still working on this. Just uh, I think we can reach the, uh, the level of amount of our ideas, which doesn't uh, suit the level of our company growth. So that, that can be the issue. Apart from that, we are good with our roadmap. Great. All right, um, la last question that we have from the community, and then, you know, after that, it, you know, we could kind of go into anything else. Um, there is this nice leave a message feature for contacting the support. Will you introduce a live chat after some time? Well, in fact, this uh, live chat is already available for some periods of time. Uh, but our support team is growing. We are constantly working on that as well. Uh, it, it's not uh, 
it's not ready to to provide 24 7 support with the live chat yet unfortunately but we are working on this this is our goal and uh, eventually i hope we'll see this live chat available all time but uh, if if you if you come to a website on some our time zone working hours you can see the live chat already okay that's fair enough um all right. well, on behalf of the community, I want to thank you for taking these questions and, and being so generous as to answer them with us today. Thank you for giving me opportunity to answer these questions. I think the video format is very, is very good because while well, we have these questions, it's difficult to find them in Telegram chat, which is very active, but uh, there are good questions that can be addressed in form of video. Yeah. That, that's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, any anything else? Any any specials? I mean, we covered your tournament, and and just as a reminder, everybody, um, we are giving away ten uh, GBT tokens for this. There yes, there will be a you. contact, and I want to thank you for offering that opportunity to your community as well. Um, you, know, it, it, you have a wonderful community, and and you know I I, yeah. I know I've said it a couple times, but you really do. Um, you know I was surprised when I went in there just how much involvement there is inside of your community. So it, you've built something to really be proud of and it's just evident in the way people react to you. Yeah. yeah building the community is much more difficult and valuable than building the software. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we are proud of our community. It helps us a lot in, in all things. Thank you once again. All right. Well, Dimitri, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, We'll keep in contact and, you know, maybe oh. as, as y'all come a little bit closer or whatnot, you know, we could touch base again. Um, sure. I, I, I love this opportunity and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get this out there to the community. So thank you for taking the time to right. speak with us. And again, that was Dmitry Nazarov from Genesis Vision, the uh, CEO and co-founder. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody, that was Dimitri Nazarov, CEO and co-founder of Genesis Vision. Awesome interview, great project. I have been a huge follower of Genesis Vision for a very long time. Um, I actually have a couple other videos that, that cover them before this one. So we were really excited to get this opportunity to interview Dimitri. Um, awesome project. Hopeful to have another interview in the future yep. um, to cover more of their progress, which I expect there will be quite a bit of. Yep. Full disclosure, this was not a sponsored review, and we are invested in the project as well. Um, but that's our own personal yeah. invest, you know, and we're not financial advisors. At all. So we're not telling you guys what to do or what not to do, but I want to be transparent with the audience here. Um, so outside of that, uh, I mean, it was a great, great interview, and... Uh, it was a lot of fun, and um, I'm really excited to see uh, who our winner in our contest is, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Very much so. As always, trade, trade responsibly. responsibly.